Hey everybody, GP Studio here with a tutorial on parallel compression, or better known as New York compression. It's because the effect was used quite often in New York City studios. What parallel compression or New York compression is, is simply taking a uncompressed signal and a compressed signal and combining the two together to get a fuller or beefier type sound without losing the dynamic of the original signal. So I'm going to show you here an example and uh, we'll turn on first the compressed signal of the kick drum. And then we'll bring in here the uncompressed signal. And without the New York compression, you still have the fullness of the sound and you're adding the dynamic of the extra compressed signal into the mix which gives it a fuller type sound. Um, I found this works best on drums. You could also use it on bass or other instruments that you're trying to add some low end to the instrument. Um, it's not very effective on trying to add high end because the idea is you're trying to add beef, thump, uh, substance to that particular sound signal. So let's dive in here and take a look at how this is done. This uh, effect, as I say, works best on drums, but however you choose to use it, the first thing that you want to do is set up your mixer tracks. So go to an empty mixer track and select it, and the first thing we're going to do is put in a fruity parametric EQ2 so we can control the dynamic, and the next thing we're going to do is put in a fruity compressor well sometimes these are hard to find and then we're going to name this first track we'll call it just NYC for New York compression and here is a tip pay attention to this very closely because if you don't do this you're going to have a really crappy sound and you're going to wonder what's going on there's an issue called phasing or comb filtering which happens when two audio signals of the same source are not in sync with each other. Everything that happens in this mixer track uh, is going to have some delay based on the plugins that are in that mixer track. So what you want to do now is make sure that your New York compression track and your dry track are going to have the same exact plugins in them so they are always in sync with each other. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to do file save mixer track and I'm going to click that and just drag it to number 18 here and then I'm going to rename this dry DRY well, let's do caps so they're matching here so now I've got my New York compression track and my dry track both with the same exact plugin so I don't have any phasing issues going on here and uh, I've got an EQ and a compressor on both of those tracks now the next thing I want to do is route anything that I'm going to be sending through the New York compression route it all to my dry track only and these are all my drums here so I'm gonna just select each one select my bass drum I'm gonna go over here to my dry track and I'm gonna right click here on this arrow and select uh, route to this track only and I wanna do that for each one of my drums because I'm going to use the New York compression on my complete drums instead of just the kick drum here Okay, so now I have all those routed to my dry track. Go through each one of them, make sure. Okay, and at that point then, you can play this and you'll see that everything is going through my dry track. Now I want to do this again, and I'm going to route all these through my New York compression track. Okay, so take each one and just click this, left click this arrow right here. And now we'll have them all going to both the New York compression track and the dry track. And let's play this. So we have a double signal going on here. And now I'm just going to show you real quick what that phase, uh, phasing and the uh, comb filtering sounds like. I'm just going to turn off the effects on the dry track here. Hear that kind of hollow type echo
now our clap sounds nice and clean without it can you hear the phasing going on it might be something you have to train your ear to listen for and uh, it may come with time but i'm just saying very very important that whatever is on your new york compression track is also on your dry track the plugins that are in the effects list over here so i'll turn that back on now and with the new york compression track we're going to bring it and tuck it up underneath the dry track so let's start out first and let's just mute this dry track here so now we have just this New York compression track and we're gonna work with that and uh, come over here to first the equalizer and we're gonna take and we're going to boost just a little here I'm trying to add some thump to my drums so I'm gonna kinda curve this like this and and get some a little bit more depth in the bass end of this and I can watch right here and see what I'm trying to cover and this range sometimes is a muddy area so I'm just dropping that down some and if you want to affect uh, things on the high end then with this compression then you can come up here and maybe pull something out up in here which is kind of the clap right here so this is on the New York compression track I'm just kind of rounding out the sound right now and here's where the fun comes in now we don't want all that dynamic in the New York compression track we're trying to tuck a uh, lower end uh, compressed thumped up signal up underneath this dry track we'll keep all the dynamic in the dry track so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bring the threshold down and this is really gonna depend on your song so you wanna play with these settings a little bit and we're gonna bring the ratio up to about oh, 20 21 and we're gonna bring the gain up too to about 20 and we want a quick attack on this we can bring it all the way down and usually around you're trying to catch the end of the kick drum without going into the next hit so uh, kick drum signals not very long around 700 on the release and you can play this through and you can get that set how you like it just listen to the sound of it bring it down the threshold Notice how I'm losing my dynamic there. You can make up for it in the gain. Take your ratio up. You can change your compression type if you want. And we're just kind of listening to the sound here. kind of getting some thump there without getting a lot of the high end and that's what I'm going for I might even bring it up here on the EQ now on that New York track all right now I'm gonna drop that out and I'm gonna play the dry track and I'm gonna come over here to the EQ and where it boosted those other signals I'm gonna drop these a little bit here probably boost it here in the high end some catch that clap okay so now I got my dry signal here now I'm just gonna slowly bring in the New York compression now I'll overdo it back it back off now without it with it so hopefully you can tell there how it makes a difference and it adds some more depth some more character to the sound and like I said you can control the sound with the EQ however you want and then use your compressor drop your threshold down which is uh, going to bring down the dynamic of that particular sound and that's where you're losing your 
higher frequencies when you do that. Set your ratio high and uh, set your gain high to make up for the difference. We like a quick attack because we don't want to let too much of those high frequencies come through. That's what's all being controlled in the dry tra track. So you keep your dynamic in the dry track, your original signal. And like I said, we didn't make any adjustments on the compressor. That's just to keep the latency the same between the two tracks so you don't have phasing. And then adjust your EQ on your dry track uh, to how it you know will fit in the mix. Go ahead and adjust that first and then uh, over here on your New York compression track then you'll adjust it by itself to bring out the dynamic of the low end and uh, mix that in with the dry signal bring it up slowly until it just tucks up underneath that original signal and it'll help beef up your kicks beef up your other instruments whatever you choose to use it on and uh, give it a shot see what you think thanks for watching